Now the last topic in this chapter 4.5 is binomial estimation. Here actually there is nothing new to learn. We just need to use the binomial expansion. I'm gonna I have taken a question from exercise 4e here. The part A they want you to find the first four terms. And then part B, you will have questions like this. They want you to find the estimation or approximation of this value. So when you compare these two, you will have the same power. If it is 6, you will have 6 also. And I'm going to teach you how to find the approximation of this value using the binomial expansion. So part 1, find the expansion of this. So they have asked uh, to find the first four terms. So write the binomial expansion a power 6 and c1 a power 6 minus 1 b is negative x over 10 plus 6 c2 a power 6 minus 2 b power 2 plus 6 c3 a power 6 minus 3 b power 3. 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. Simplify this. 1 power anything is 1. This becomes a negative 6 over 10x. Here it becomes positive. 6c2 is 15. 15 over 10. Not 10. When you square it 100. 15 over 100. x squared. And then 6c3. 6c3 is... Uh, 6, 5, 4 by 6 is 20 and you will have negative 20 over 10 cube is 1000 x cube and then you have to simplify them apparently 1 minus 3 over 5x plus when you simplify by the common factor is 5 here 3 5s are 15 25 s are 100 x square minus cancel by 20 1 over 50 x cube so that's the answer for part a now part b when you compare these two you you have same powers here 6 and 6 if you ask me do i get uh, some number with another power no it will always be same so since the powers are same we are going to take this expression equals this number. Take it as 1 minus x over 10 equals 0 0.99. Why do we do that? We need to find the value of x. So we need to find the value of x that gives 0 0.99 when you substitute here. So we find the value of x and we put the value on both sides of this expression. This side becomes this. And right side, when you substitute the x value, you will get the approximation of this. So rearrange this and make x as a subject. You will get 0 0.1 is x. 0 0.01 times 10. We got the x value already. Now if you substitute this value on both sides of this binomial expansion, this becomes 0 0.996. And when you substitute here, 1 minus 3 over 5 times 0 0.1, 3 over 20, 0 0.1 square, 1 over 50, 0 0.1 whole cube, find the approximation of. So you will get 0 0.94148. That's the answer. This is what binomial estimation is. In part B, they want you to find the appropriate value of x, which is this and then find the binomial estimation of this the approximate es ex estimation of uh, this value so just take the x value substitute on both sides of the binomial expansion same like the previous question here also they want you to find the first four terms of this binomial expansion so apply the expansion a power 8 plus 8c1 a power 8 minus 1 b power 1 8c2 a power 8 minus 2 b power 2 8c3 
a power a minus 3 b power 3. So you get 1, 8c1 is 8, 8 2 saw 16x, 8c2, 8c2 will be 8 times 7 by 2, 28, 8 times 7 divided by 2, 4 sums of 28, 2 square is 4, 28 times 4, 28 times 4 is 4, 8 saw 32, so 80, 32, 1, 1, 2x square. And then 8c3, 8 times 7 times 6 by 6, 8 7 saw 56, 56, and 56 times 8 again. 2 cube is 8. 56 times 8 is, 6 times 8 is 48. 448x cube. So that's the answer for part A. Now part B, same like the previous question, they both have power 8. So take this expression 1 plus 2x equated to this base 1.02, make x as a subject. So bring the 1 here, so you'll get 0 0.02 divided by 2x is 0 0.01. So once you got the x value, substitute this x values on both side of this expansion. Here you don't need to substitute, straight anyway you are going to get this if you substitute here. So straight away write this 1.02 power 8 equals, plug in this value here, 1 plus 16 times 0 0.01, 112 times 0 0.01 square, 448 0 0.01 cube. So the answer is 1.171648. That's the answer. Okay now I would like to explain one more thing here. Let's say the part there is a part C here where they want you to explain whether the value the approximation we got here is a overestimation or underestimation of the actual value. How do we answer that? Okay, I want you all to use your calculator and find the use your calculator and find the value of this and compare these two. So I got this value 1.171659381. When we compare these two, apparently, apparently this value is bigger because 1716, 1716, you have 40 here, 48 here, 59 here. This is bigger. So the actually the value we got here is the under estimation. But they will mention clearly in the question without finding the value of this, without finding the value, you're not supposed to find this value. Without finding the value of this, state whether this is under estimation or overestimation. So listen to me carefully. You don't need the value of this actually. Now where do we get this value from? We got it from the binomial expansion, right? You look at the binomial expansion. We have taken the binomial expansion till x cube only. But there are several terms, right? x power 4, x power 5. And all the terms are positive. So what, what, what I'm trying to say here, if you take x power 4 term, you will get plus a positive number here. So you are going to add some other number to this value. You take x power 5, you get another positive number. So this value is going to increase when you add positive values. So what we have here is definitely underestimation because we have taken only limited number of series, limited number of terms in this series. And not only that, all the terms are positive. Why do I need to say all the terms are positive? Let's say if it's 1 minus 2x, you will have minus here, plus, minus, plus, minus. You're not going to keep on adding the numbers. You're going to add the positive term, subtract the negative term. So in this case, we can't really say for sure whether it's underestimation or overestimation. But here, all the terms are positive. That means all the numbers are going to be positive numbers. So definitely, if you take two other terms, you are going to add two other positive number to it. So this value will increase. 
So what we have here is the underestimation. So the exact answer for part C, let's say if they ask you to state that reason, you have to say we have taken only limited number of terms and all the terms are positive. So the value we have here is the underestimation of the original value. 